Welcome, GBC family and friends. This is the day that the Lord has made, amen? And we will rejoice. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is just a wonderful time of the year and our GBC family Christmas program. You'll hear from uh, different departments today. And it's just going to be a day of a lot of fun. Amen. And of course, worshiping the King of Kings Hallelujah. and the Lord of Hallelujah. Lords. Would you stand with me? And can we just give him one big hand of praise?
a minute and just welcome those that are around you. We are so glad you're here today. traditional Christmas colors, you just look amazing. Well, I'm going to move on with just a couple announcements. If you are with us for the first time today or watching online, we are so glad that you're with us, and we are so glad that everyone is with us. Amen? But if you are with us for the first time, we have a gift that we want to give to you. It's called a surf bottle, and in it is a book that we wrote for you, a pen. It's got some candy. It's got some good stuff in it. And so we just uh, want to give that to you. And the chair that is in front of you, there is a card, and one side says new to GVC. The other side says information. But if you are with us today for the first time, just fill out the part new to GVC. And that way we can just send you a letter and say thank you for being with us today because it was special for us that you worshiped with us today. Would you give everybody a hand? Well, today is a special day because it is our 2023 uh, GVC Family Christmas Program, and it's called Christmas, the Miracle That Shines in Our Hearts. And so it's going to be wonderful. He is the miracle, amen? Yes, he is. And, uh, and so today, as you know, it was traditional red and green or whatever your favorite Christmas color was. And, but also today is our photo booth. And so if you would like to take a photo with you, your family, your friends, you can come up here on the stage, use this tree or the tree in Cafe Rico. And there is also a photo booth there in Cafe Rico. But just avail yourself before you leave today and take a picture just to have a new memory. Amen? And then next Sunday, remember, it is Sweater Sunday. Either you can wear your favorite ugly sweater or just your favorite Christmas sweater. And it's going to be cold. I heard it's going to be below zero next Sunday, so you don't got to worry about it. Amen. We can believe for miracles. Yeah, you're right, it's not true. And so, hey, this Saturday is our Shoes on the Move extravaganza. It is going to be so wonderful. And if, ladies, if you haven't signed up yet, please make sure you get signed up today. Uh, space is almost completely full, and I want to make sure everybody is able to get in. And so with that, if you would bring a wrapped or an ornament wrapped or in a gift bag for the ornament exchange, uh, we'd, we're going to have lots of fun. So just make sure you bring an ornament with you. And then uh, Sunday, next Sunday, the 17th, it's our teen and our children's Christmas party. Woo! As I promised you, we will have a gift for every child and every teen. And that is just the love from GVC to your children. And so make sure that your kids and your teens are here for that very special Sunday. Amen. And let's see, then Wednesday, December the 20th, 
That is our Christmas candlelight service, and it's just going to be beautiful. So make sure you're here for that. Would you make welcome my babe? Praise the Lord. Good job, Debs. Merry Christmas, everybody. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Has anybody got the joy of Christmas in your heart today? Hallelujah. Well, then give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Amen. I am so happy. Come on. Aren't you glad you got a happy pastor and not a grumpy old sour pastor? I am so happy that we've got Daniel sitting in on the drums today. Amen. And we've got Jeremy on the keyboards. Hallelujah. Amen. They just got in last night or so from ORU University. Their students out there were so proud of them. Our alumni are achieving great, great things. ORU, that's my, that's my alma mater, ORU. When they were talking about going out to ORU, I said, I'm going to go back for my doctorate. And we can be roommates. And I'll be with you morning, noon, and night. We'll eat together. We'll study together. We'll go out together. We'll be together all the time. But they left and didn't tell me when they were going. <laughs> no, that's not true. But I'm glad to have them back. Yay, praise the Lord. Superstars. Love them. They're like my spiritual kids. They are doing so, so great. Well, are you ready to worship the Lord with your offerings? God loves a cheerful giver. Say, I'm happy to give to the cause of Christ. God loves a cheerful giver, not a grumpy giver. <laughs> I'm not so picky. If you're grumpy today, go ahead and give anyways. That's fine. <laughs> God is very selective. I'm not so selective. If you're grumpy, sour, whatever, give unto the Lord, and you'll be happy doing it. Hallelujah. The psalmist said, give unto the Lord, O ye, all ye kinds of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear the Lord or reverence the Lord, all the earth. Say, that's me. I love the Lord. Don't you love the Lord? Don't you love Christmas time? I do too. Let's hold our seat up before the Lord. Ushers, come on ahead as we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to sow good seed into good ground. And we declare that this seed will produce a harvest of souls saved, bodies healed, lives changed. In Jesus' holy name we pray. And we say amen and amen. God bless you in your giving. Watch
Hello, everyone. Christmas, the miracle that shines in our hearts. Grandview Church, family and friends, the Christmas miracle has made his home in our hearts. Jesus lives in us and his light shines bright. We recognize the miracle of our Savior's birth. This shining star, the wise men, the shepherds, the prophecy of the Redeemer being born for mankind shows us how miraculous Christmas really is. For you and me, for all of our loved ones, Jesus' Christmas miracle has changed our lives for all eternity. The little babe in the manger has, invite, has, been, has visited our hearts. It is our prayer that you have invited him into your heart to be your Lord and Savior. It is the greatest decision you will ever make. Honoring Christmas is about the Christ who came to earth. He grew as a man without sin, and he loved the world so much that he was willing to be the sacrifice for us all. His love for mankind is indescribable. Jesus is the Christmas miracle that shines in our hearts. That is why we celebrate Christmas. A babe in a manger reveals a love so great. He brought the miracle of hope, the miracle of peace, the miracle of victory, salvation, and every earthly blessing. This is the best present we could ever receive. Jesus Christ, Emmanuel. The miraculous light that shines forever in our hearts. Merry Christmas, GBC family. Enjoy Christmas, the miracle that shines in our hearts. Will believe. 
the one who's come to rescue us, our Savior and King. Bring the past, the joy, the sorrow, all your hope to find tomorrow. Hear the, hear the words again, fear not, know that God is near. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city in Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you, blessed are you among women." But when she saw him, she was troubled at this saying and considered what manner of greeting this was. And then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great. He will be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you. And the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Therefore also... The Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and now this is the sixth month for her who was called barren. For with God nothing will be impossible. And then Mary said, Behold, the maidservant of the Lord, be it unto me according to to your word, and the angel departed from her. Joy 
Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not wanting to make a public example of her, was minded to put her away secretly. But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take to you Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So all this was done that it might be fulfilled that which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. Then Joseph, being aroused from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him and took to him his wife, and did not know her till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name 
Jesus.
And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. And this census first took place while Quirinius was governing Syria. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and the lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. And so it was, while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the end.
truly he taught us to love one another his love is
hope and joy and strength. He offers all our days. Pure and perfect blessings are wrapped in His grace. And when the lights come down, the moments disappear. And he is the light that shines from the sun. And he is the shepherd watching over us all. And he is the peace that wise men still see. A savior born that we might live. He the gift, a Savior born that we might live. He is the gift. Now there was in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them, and they were greatly afraid. And then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people." For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You shall find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will towards men.
love our teens. Amen. And I am just so excited that the choir is going to be a part of this musical. Man, would you make the choir welcome?
the Lord. Amen. Well, this next uh, ministry, I'm going to tell you, we have all benefited from this ministry. So, would you make welcome Miss Carla and the hospitality team? Well, Merry Christmas, Grandview Church. Merry Christmas, Grandview family. I'm Carla, and I'm the leader of the hospitality team. How many of y'all like cookies? How many like cookies? <laughs> okay. So I'm here. I want to share a couple of things about my favorite Christmas cookie. The sugar is the sweetness that we pass with all of our friends. The flour is the most important part because it holds it all together. It's the love in a family. The eggs are the goodness that helps a cookie brown. The butter is, gives a cookie rich tenderness, which no one can turn down. The vanilla is like a good friend. It brings all the flavors together. A sugar cookie is easy to bake and yummy to eat. Now the Grandview Hospitality Team is going to share this tasty treat. <laughs> Please wait until we exit the sanctuary. Please. Testing. There you go. Please wait until we exit the sanctuary before you share, you enjoy your tasty treat. Merry Christmas, Grandview Church. Merry Christmas. Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year. Yes, it is. That is why we are dressed up on this special Sunday. You're right. We're celebrating the birth of our Savior. Do you hear all the singing, the musicians playing, the children singing, and yes, that anointed choir. Look around and see all the lights, the special decorations, and the joy that is on everyone's face. From young to old, we all have something to celebrate. Singing Christmas songs brings family and friends together. It just brings a smile on their faces and a smile in their hearts. Here in the house of the Lord, 
we lift up our voices together to sing some of our favorite Christmas carols. This is so special. Yes, <clears throat> it is wonderful to sing songs like Joy to the world, hark the herald angels sing, Noel, oh come let us adore him. Pastor James loves to sing that song. All, All year long. long. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, and don't forget Silent Night, Away in the manger, God rest ye merry gentlemen, and all the favorites. <laughs> Everyone loves those Christmas carols. I remember the Christmas songs I grew up, grew up with, like I'll Be Home for Christmas, Jingle Bells, White Christmas, I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. <laughs> oh, and that song about chestnuts? What's the name of that song? I think it's called The Christmas Song, you know. Chestnuts roasting on a, an open fire. Yes, that's Chest the one. Yes. Everyone loves to sing that song. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. <laughs> well, I can't wait to hear all the wonderful Christmas songs today. Me too. Let's go and join the crowd and, and celebrate. let's celebrate. you for just a moment I have a situation we are having our GBC family Christmas program and I need one more vocal group but I was thinking a quintet uh, a quintet why a quintet pastor well well the number five does represent grace maybe maybe that's why grace is certainly needed now more than ever before I agree, brother, in our families, in our churches, in our world. You know what, brothers? What we really need right now is some favor. Because all we got is four. Pastor wants a quintet. We need another guy. Well, we'll find somebody. The, the Lord will provide. Yes, and I've got just the right one. Pastor James. <laughs> yes, that's great. Great idea. I think he'll do a great job. How about you? I did ask him to come out, but I think he might be in a meeting. Why don't we just go through it one more time? Okay. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Yuletide care by a choir and folks dressed up like Eskimo. Everybody knows some turkey and some mistletoe. Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow will find it hard to sleep tonight. Santa's on his way. He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh. And every mother's child is gonna spy to see if reindeers really know how to fly. 
And so it was, when the angels had gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said to one another, let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came in haste, and they found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them, concerning this child. And all those that heard it marveled at those things which were told to them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things in her heart and pondered them. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as was told them.
Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men came from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and we have come to worship him. Then Herod the king heard this. He was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and the scribes of the people together, he inquired of them where the child was to be born. And they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them the time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go, search carefully for the young child, and when you have found him, bring back word to me that I may come and worship him also. And when they heard the king, they departed, and behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, till it came, and it stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they, when they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. be seated. What a beautiful time of celebration we've had today. I want to thank this magnificent worship team. Minister George, thank you. Thank you, praise team, worship team. Magnificent. And I want to thank you that you are a worshiping church and a praising church and you appreciate what we have done here this morning because you love the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We have come this morning to celebrate the birth of Christ. The angel told the shepherds, there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord, Christ the King. We've come to worship and recognize and celebrate 
the birth of a king. But this was not a military king. He would not raise an army to overthrow Rome. This was not a political king. He would not advance a political party to overthrow Caesar. The angel was very clear. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior. We didn't need a military ruler. We didn't need a political ruler. We needed a Savior. And I'm so glad that God loved us so that even when Adam fell in the garden, God immediately had a plan of redemption. He would find a sinner substitute. He would find a willing, sinless person, a man who would take judgment for all the sins of mankind. He would find one holy, sinless, willing substitute that would say, I will die so that the others do not. I will bear judgment so that no one else has to. I will do that. But looking throughout humanity, he could not find such a man because all mankind was tainted with Adam's sin. There was no one sinless to be that substitute. And it wouldn't do him any good to look among all the myriad of angels because angels are not human. They cannot suffer judgment for us. So God looked within himself and the Son of God said, Here am I, send me. And the Son of God became a human born of a virgin overshadowed by the Holy Spirit. As Paul told Timothy, it was God in the flesh. As the Apostle John wrote in the Gospel of John, first chapter, God or the Word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld His glory, the glory as the only begotten Son of God. God became flesh, became a man, walked a sinless life, died, buried, resurrected for us. Because the Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. What an amazing gospel this is. That the judgment of God was satisfied by the love of God when God became a man and bore judgment for us. God bore our sins. Peter said he bore our sins in his body and by his stripes we are healed. That's why we celebrate today. Because God did not ignore us. God did not cast us away. God embraced us when God became one of us and died for us. Can you say amen to that? All we have to do now is receive the gift of salvation. Receive the gift of salvation that Jesus so freely gives to us. It's not difficult. The Apostle Paul says it is easy for the sincere heart. If you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. All who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. I want to invite you this morning as we have celebrated the birth of Christ. Can we celebrate your birth into eternity? Do you need to be born again today? Is there anyone among us, anyone watching online that needs to receive Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior today? I'm so glad I gave my heart to Jesus. If you're so glad that the Holy Spirit lives within your heart, say amen. As a pastor, I just want to make sure we're all heaven bound. I won't embarrass you in any way, but I do want to pray with you. And if you need to receive Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, I want you just to raise your hand right now. I won't call you out. I just want you to raise your hand so I can pray with you today. Is there any among us this morning? And I want to make sure also we pray for those who are online. Is everybody heaven bound today? 
We're going to pray for those online right now. And I would like you to pray with me in unison to encourage. Maybe there is someone sitting beside you who is a little too shy to raise their hand today. But they do want to pray the prayer of salvation. Almost in every church service when we do this, we have someone come up afterwards and say, Pastor, I prayed the prayer for the first time. No, I did not raise my hand, but I prayed it for the first time, and I want you to know I've joined the family of God. So let's all pray this together, and you at home, you pray it out loud as well. doesn't make any difference if you've been saved a moment or a lifetime. Pray this prayer to encourage those around about you. All together, Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I confess there has been sin in my life. Forgive me. Cleanse me with the blood. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. I believe Jesus Christ died for my sins. I believe he is the resurrected Lord, enthroned in heaven, forevermore right now I receive Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior and we say amen and amen if you prayed that prayer for the very first time we've got materials for free that we would love to give to you to get you started on your walk with Jesus at home call our office write us a letter let us know and we'll get those materials to you isn't this a great 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 day in the Lord amen and amen well I'm gonna speak a blessing over you and then we're going to release you. But I want to make sure that we all sing one of our favorite Christmas songs. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Let me speak the blessing and then we'll finish that up. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and give you peace. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And the church said, amen and amen. Merry Christmas. God bless you. Good time.